Hey guys, so a quick video about the Bosch refrigerator. Uh, it's a refrigerator, kind of a refrigerator and a freezer. And uh, made from Bosch, the lower brand of Thermador. Uh, I was looking at Thermador products. I didn't really like any of their fridges that were affordable. So I went with Bosch. I thought it would be a good uh, German engineered fridge. I believe it's, uh, it's stamped that it's made in Mexico. So just for records. So this section right here, it comes with this dial right here, so you could choose what you want, what kind of temperature. 29 degrees, it's the same as 35 degrees in there. Not really 29, it doesn't freeze anything. Uh, it just keeps it chill. So this section is pretty good, it's just separated like that. The, free, uh, the freezer right here, uh, there's a few things that I like and that I don't like. So there's a compartment right here. It's broken after a few months. The rail's stuck or something like that. I took it apart, couldn't figure it out. I'm gonna have the service guy come in in a few days and take a look. Right here, it comes with the scooper, which is pretty cool, but the ice, the ice constantly becomes solid. Like uh, one piece and defrosts, then it refrosts. So as you can see right here, Gotta throw a chunk like that every once in a while. So what I don't like about these compartments is that they're so tight together. You have this little space here, you have that little space here, and then you got about four inches here and about four inches there. You don't really have enough room to put anything bigger than that or to stack anything up. Uh, this is one thing that I don't like about it, besides the ice not freezing up correctly. Then over here in the refrigerator, we got good space. We got a good shelf right there for vegetables. We got good spacing here. This is all adjustable. So I like, I like the top part. The only part that really bugs me out about this fridge is the problems that I've had with it. Less than a year that I've had it, it's already had a service come out three times for it. This is probably going to be the fourth time they come out. Uh, temperature control was the. Uh, the reason they came out three times and then uh, there were some cosmetic issues why they came out so Get it sideways there I mean, It looks like a good fridge, but I'll show you the problem here in a second That beeping sound that you guys just heard that happens randomly it happens occasionally uh, probably every four days twice a week it happens and it just keeps going off uh, it will go off in the middle of the night it will go off when we're not home we come home it's already been beeping for who knows how long and uh, the main thing there is it says over here that uh, there should be yeah it says alarm right there and it will be flashing alarm alarm meaning that when the door is open for a long time the alarm will go off and it will start beeping to remind you that the doors are open. But as you saw in the video, I went around and I checked everything. I showed you guys the seals here to make sure everything's closed. Everything was closed. It's just defected in so many ways. And less than a year we've had this fridge. We had so much problems. I had an extension cord laying here. And last time the service guy came out, he pulled the same kind of chunk of ice out that I did. And he said, Oh, that's what was in the way. And in the report, he said that it was the extension cord that was in the way that it wasn't even touching the fridge. So 
repair is isn't that great obviously they don't want to do the job they just want to say that it's your fault and leave and uh, the fridge isn't living up to its name not to its price at all i believe it this one was like 3700 because it has no handles the one with handles was a little bit cheaper like 3000 so if you're going to go for a fridge my advice stay away from bosch because bosch isn't a german company anymore might be engineered in germany but they have mexico making their products and service isn't great they're not going to stand up to it they're not going to fix anything the only thing that's nice like i mentioned was the design the idea is good pretty cool they have the controls here but the temperature inside the fridge is now going to be at 29 degrees and when i mentioned that to the service guy he said you have to understand that this is your main fridge, that's your freezer, and this is like in between. It doesn't even have that, uh, what did he say, like the uh, suction power to seal the fridge so good to contain the temperature inside or some made up stuff like that to get me off his back. So here's the fridge, my thoughts. Let me know if this video helped you out.